The 2025 Jeep Gladiator is an excellent choice for drivers who need a versatile mid-sized truck capable of carrying plenty of gear while tackling tough off-road trails. Designed to handle all types of terrain, the Gladiator stands out by offering solid off-road capabilities even at the base trim level. For those looking to push its capabilities further, the Gladiator also allows for endless customization and performance enhancements with aftermarket parts. So join us as we take a deep dive to find out why car enthusiasts are left speechless after seeing the new updates of the 2025 Jeep Gladiator. What's under the hood of the new Jeep Gladiator? Perhaps most importantly, the biggest change that the new Jeep Gladiator will see is the inclusion of a 4xe hybrid plug-in hybrid model that we already have in the Wrangler. This is great news, especially for those who are looking for an off-road ready pickup truck that was already really efficient for the time spent off the trails, such as commuting. Although the order bank hasn't been open for the new 4xe Gladiator, Stellantis has announced that it will be officially ready to order before the end of 2025. The Gladiator 4xe is set to inherit the powertrain from its sibling, the Wrangler 4xe, making it Jeep's next step towards electrification. Expected under the hood is a 2.0-liter turbocharged i4 engine paired with not one but two electric motors. The first is an electric starter-slash-generator, contributing 44 horsepower and 39 pound-feet of torque while the second is a traction motor delivering 134 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. Combined, the system should produce an impressive 375 horsepower and a stout 470 pound-feet of torque. All models are likely to feature a 17.3 kilowatt-hour battery, which should provide an estimated 22 miles of pure electric driving range, perfect for short, emissions-free commutes or low-speed trail runs. Expect a smooth shifting 8-speed automatic transmission and a robust 4-wheel drive system to come standard, making the Gladiator 4xe as capable on the trail as forward thinking on the road. Meanwhile, we still have the trusty and reliable naturally aspirated 3.6-liter V6 Pentastar engine from the previous model year. This powertrain isn't very exciting, as it only produces 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque, but it gets the job done. Unfortunately for manual transmission enthusiasts, for the new model year, Jeep has announced that it is discontinuing the six-speed manual transmission option for the Gladiator, which is a shame. So if you're looking for a stick shift off-roader, the Wrangler and the Toyota Tacoma are your only bet these days. Fuel Economy of the New Jeep Gladiator Fuel economy for the Gladiator that is equipped with a Pentastar is going to stay unchanged in our opinion. Apart from the fact that since the 6-speed is gone now, we only have the 8-speed automatic which delivers slightly better fuel economy. Based on last year's EPA estimates, the Gladiator that has the V6 should be able to get 17 miles per gallon in the city and 22 on the highway, giving you a combined rating of 19. On the other hand, we expect the new Gladiator 4xe to get 49 mpge, just like the Wrangler 4xe. It will be very efficient, especially compared to the competition in this class. Configuration options for the new Jeep Gladiator Even though there are a lot of exciting new changes for the new Gladiator, a strange omission that we still can't wrap our heads around is the lack of configuration options for the Gladiator. All Gladiators, regardless of the trim, will only be available in the crew cab short bed configuration. The bed length is only five and a half feet, which isn't exactly sufficient for many kinds of work-related uses. Considering you can get the Wrangler both in a two or a four door setup, we are still baffled why a two door long bed option isn't available for the Gladiator. Maybe with a six and a half foot bed. It's a bizarre omission indeed. However, this is what we get. However, it is still possible to remove both the doors and the hard top, and you can also get a soft top, which is great news for Jeep fans, as these features are a mainstay of the Jeep brand. Towing and hauling with the new Jeep Gladiator The new Jeep Gladiator is expected to carry forward the same impressive towing and payload ratings as its predecessor. When properly equipped, the Gladiator's maximum towing capacity reaches 7,700 pounds and its payload tops out at a best-in-class 1,725 pounds. To achieve these peak numbers, buyers must opt for the base sport trim outfitted with the 8-speed automatic transmission, 
and a 4.1 to 1 axle ratio. For those leaning toward the adventure-ready Rubicon trim, towing capacity is slightly lower, maxing out at 7,000 pounds, with a reduced payload capacity of 1,200 pounds. Still plenty capable for tackling tough trails and hauling weekend gear. Interior and infotainment changes of the new Gladiator. For the new model year, we will not have the crank windows and manual locking doors. Instead, we will have power windows and locks, as standard across all trims of the Gladiator. Now this might upset some of the Ludites among us, but we think this is a necessary upgrade, especially in this day and age. The Gladiator's interior cleverly mirrors the Wrangler's rugged styling with its upright dashboard and straightforward, user-friendly controls. How many trucks can boast a waterproof push-button start? It's a unique touch, just like the available heated steering wheel and front seats for those looking to add a bit more comfort. Jeep designed the Gladiator's extended wheelbase to provide more backseat legroom compared to the four-door Wrangler, making it a more spacious option for passengers. Plus, with easily removable doors and an optional fold-down windshield, it delivers an exhilarating open-air experience. There's a compartment hidden under the rear seats and several spots to keep your smartphone secure. Additionally, the rear seats can be configured in various ways, offering flexibility whether you're hauling gear or friends. The new Jeep Gladiator comes standard with a large 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen featuring both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility ensuring seamless connectivity on the go. For those looking to elevate the audio experience, the Gladiator offers an optional upgrade stereo system that includes a subwoofer and a portable wireless speaker neatly stored behind the rear seat, perfect for on-the-go tunes. Up front, passengers have access to multiple power points, including two USB ports, a USB-C port, and an optional 115-volt outlet, making it easy to keep devices charged and ready for any adventure. Trims and Pricing for the New Gladiator The new Jeep Gladiator will come in eight different trim levels, all with minor changes between them. We're not a huge fan of offering so many different trim levels that only offer small updates between one another. But this is what Jeep decided to do for the new model year. Well, as always, let's start with the base Sport trim. The new Jeep Gladiator Sport serves as the entry point for those seeking a robust off-road-ready pickup at an accessible price. While it's the most affordable trim, it still provides essential Jeep performance and capability, making it ideal for light off-roading and utility. This model comes equipped with durable 17-inch steel wheels, the Command Track part-time 4x4 system for reliable traction on various terrains, and heavy-duty Dana 44 axles at both the front and rear for enhanced off-road performance. Additionally, the Gladiator Sport includes a removable soft top, offering drivers a classic Jeep open-air experience. This configuration makes it an attractive option for those looking to embrace Jeep's adventurous spirit without breaking the bank. The Sport trim will be starting from $38,695. The all-new Nighthawk trim merges off-road capability with a striking, blacked-out aesthetic, giving the Gladiator a more sophisticated, urban look. This trim level stands out with its 18-inch black wheels and black exterior accents and badges. Inside, it features leather-trimmed seats with contrast stitching for a touch of refinement. Nighthawk will be starting from $41,490. Starting from $41,600, the Sport S builds on the base Sport trim, but it also adds 17-inch gray aluminum wheels and adds convenient features like adaptive cruise, forward collision, warning with active braking, and power heated mirrors. Starting from $45,795, the Willis trim enhances the Gladiator's off-road prowess with specific upgrades. Willis trim brings 17-inch black wheels wrapped in 32-inch mud terrain tires. The TrueLock rear differential and rock rails provide additional capability and protection on challenging trails. The Willis also features the Command Track 4x4 system with 2.72 to 1 low-range gearing, making it well-suited for a variety of off-road conditions. If you are very serious about heavy-duty off-roading, you should look at trims like the Mojave and above. Priced from $51,695, the Mojave trim adds important off-road features like 2.5 internal bypass Fox shocks, a locking rear diff, a 1-inch lift, and 33-inch AT tires. The Mojave X enhances the Gladiator's off-road capabilities by building on the already formidable Mojave trim. It comes equipped with a full-time select track 4x4 system and an integrated front off-road camera. Inside, 
the Mojave X offers 12-way power adjustable seats. On the exterior, we have steel rock rails for the bed corners and front and rear steel bumpers. Mojave X significantly bumps the price up to a whopping $61,995. If you are a Jeep guy, you already know that the Mojave trim is for high-speed desert running, whereas the Rubicon is more geared towards more technical rock crawling trails. The Rubicon includes part-time rock track and a 4 to 1 load transfer case for a very high crawl ratio of up to 84 to 1. The Rubicon will be starting from $51,695. The Rubicon X, just like the Mojave X, adds a lot of convenient safety and comfort features to the Rubicon. Rubicon X starts from $61,695.